Hello everyone, very glad to have this opportunity to present our work Fed Cube, which is a Fed infrastructure for integrated multi-omic state analysis. Firstly, very briefly present the background of this work. Fed Cube was developed in Netherlands Crossomic Initiative, which involves multiple university medical centers. One of the objectives in Crossomics is to develop a national infrastructure for the generation, analysis, and interpretation of multi-omic data. During our work, two challenges are ident identified, namely, when combining technologies in different omics, it is hard because uh, the data and the met also associated metadata are not always fair. The second uh, challenge is that uh, pr when promoting reuse of data derived from a human source, uh, it is easy to infringe the privacy of the individuals. To address these challenges, we propose to develop a fair data cube, which, which is a set of tools and services that helps researchers in different stages of the research data life cycle, including creating and describing new data and finding, understanding, and reusing existing fair multi or mixed data. This diagram shows the three main functions with which fair data cube can help researchers. The first main function in purple area is creation of multi omics data and metadata. In this part, FAIR data cube helps the researcher, the dataset owner, to generate standardized FAIR metadata and publish the verified metadata in the public metadata registry. In our case, we use FAIR data cube point. The second main function highlighted in pink area is enabling a researcher, a dataset consumer, to perform semantic search query towards the metadata registry. The third function is highlighted in a yellow area. If a researcher finds an interesting dataset after doing semantic search and a query, he or she would go a step further to run an analysis on a dataset. Fair Data Cube can help on this point by integrating a component called Vantage 6, which implements the idea of bringing algorithms to datasets instead of sending datasets to algorithms. After running the algorithms on a dataset, the aggregated result is sent back to the researcher who raised the computation request. In this way, the privacy of the dataset is securely protected in a safe environment. We demonstrated the use of Feded Cube on the project of To Walk, just to the world of Corona. For detail of the Twalk project and the verification of Twalk dataset, please refer to another presentation by my colleague. On this slide, we show some examples that the researcher could query on the fair data point. The first example is a simple one, like how many patients in the dataset available in the fair data point are diagnosed with COVID-19. A more complex example could be in several steps. The first step would be retrieve study identifier where COVID is mentioned. The second step would be query subject ID that have COVID-19 status information. And the third step would be query sample ID based on individual ID. And the last step would be based on sample ID to find the link to the transcript or mixed feature data file. On the right are two screenshots. The top one is the portal of FED point, where the work dataset metadata is published and displayed. The bottom screenshot shows the portal where a researcher could run a Spark query on the metadata. On this slide, we show how we use 26 to help a researcher doing federated analysis. The left screenshot shows the 26 user interface, where a registered user can create a task. A Docker container is specified and will be retrieved from a Docker registry, like Docker Hub. In this case, an average algorithm is specified to run on a Tavok dataset. In our case, for simplicity, we use a CSV file as a dataset, which has a column named age. The average algorithm would compute an average value on the current age, the 
Age colon is also specified as a parameter on the of the task. The screenshot on the right shows the result of running the algorithm. Okay. Finally, a brief takeaway. We introduce our work Feathered Cube, an integrated acrosomic infrastructure that helps researchers in different stages of research data life cycle. And we demonstrate uh, on to work project. Uh, we would like to thank all the team members and uh, the supporting fundings. We are happy to take questions. Thank you.